Yeah. Do you think you can start making forty thousand pounds a year? Because I need forty thousand pounds of V bucks. What for? For a skin. Forty thousand pounds. Actually, Jasper, I can, and I'll show you how, but not for V bucks. So here we go. If I need to earn forty thousand pounds worth of V bucks, I better get started, and I'll explain how. So we're going to work backwards from this one. We're going to assume that we've already got the £40,000 and look back at how we did it. So £40,000. Driving lesson prices range anything from £15 all the way up to £30. I know, don't ask me why. That is going to be a separate video. What is the difference between a £15 driving lesson and a £30 driving lesson? And there is a difference, but we'll talk about that another day. For now, my average lessons are around £27. So we're going to base this on that figure. Now bear with me, we're going to have to do a little bit of maths. So we have £40,000 for the year. We divide that by £27 per hour, which gives us 1,482 hours per year. Now I've rounded that number up. Next we have 1,482 hours for the year, which we then need to divide down into either months or weeks or whatever else. I've divided it down into weeks. So we have 1,482 divided by 52 weeks of the year, which gives us 28.5 hours per week. This means we need to work 28.5 hours every week in order to reach a £40,000 salary. We then get this figure, last bit of maths, bear with me, I know this is killing you. 28.5 hours divided by five days per week equals 5.7 hours per day. I've rounded this up to six because I'm not working 0.7 of an hour. Need to work six hours per day, five days a week. Obviously I could change this and I could work seven days or I could work six days and this number would go down. But for this example, I'm going to stick with six hours per day. Next. So here's a breakdown from Monday, for example. So I know every day I need to be doing the school run in the morning. So I've got to get one of the children to school, which means I can't start work till I've done that. They aren't normally in school till about quarter to nine. Providing my first lesson is near one of the schools, I can probably get there in about 15 minutes. I'm nice and fresh. So we're starting work at 9 a.m. Generally nine out of my 10 lessons are an hour and a half because it wastes so much less time for the students especially when they're in the early days when I have to drive to safe areas. It just makes far more sense for everyone. So, first lesson starts at nine, it finishes at half past 10. I'm still reasonably fresh because it's first thing in the morning, so I'm just having 15 minutes to get from that student to the next student, and I should make it. Next lesson starts at 10.45. This is gonna finish at 12.15. Now this is lunchtime, I'm not that fresh anymore, I could do with a bit of a break, so off we head either Tesco, McDonald's, as to wherever is closest and has a toilet. I might even get some lunch. So 30 minutes later, that's also including travel time to the next student. We, our next lesson starts at 12.45. We finish that by 2.15. 15 minutes from there, we've got enough time to hopefully travel to the next student, providing I've organized my diary in a decent fashion. Not always the case. And we're arriving at 2.30. This also has to account for traffic as well. So sometimes by this point, I end up running 10, 15 minutes late, which obviously has a knock-on effect like dominoes for the student after and the student after that. So it's really about diary management here and it's so important and it's practice. So next lesson is 2.30. This is finished again after an hour and a half at 4 p.m. It's starting to get on now. My wife has picked up both the children, but that means I can work a bit later because I'm choosing to work a bit later a couple of days a week in order to, to reach my financial goal. So at this point, it's four o'clock. So again, it's definitely time for another toilet break. So off I head back to McDonald's or Asda or wherever is closer. This also, this gives me 15 minutes to get to the toilet, uh, have a coffee, have a drink, whatever I'm doing and drive to the next student in, within another 15 minutes. So it does take some organization, which is not one of my strong points, I might add. Next lesson starts at 4.30. This again will finish at 6 p.m. And this is, this is hoping that all of my lessons that day are an hour and a half and none of them are an hour. But in this case, they are. This then finishes at 6 p.m. Well, that's quite late if you think about it compared to the average work time. Although I haven't actually started till 9 a.m. Uh, normal, you know, working hours 
for a lot of people are between 7 and 8 a.m. So it's not actually too bad. But it's then 30 minutes drive home. So we're looking about 6.30 now probably. And then we're home. And then it's tea, shower, and Cobra Kai. Now that might not sound too appealing to you guys, but I've chosen to work five days a week and on a Monday and Tuesday, I've chosen to work from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Why have I done this? Because this actually comes to 7.5 hours and I only need the six hours. So, so I've worked an extra hour and a half. This means on three of the days, I can finish early and pick up the children from school. So Tuesday... <laughs> So Tuesday's very similar to Monday in the fact that it's actually quite boring. It's a really long day. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a long day. But once I've got Tuesday out of the way, I've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I'm laughing. I can pick the kids up from school and I'm home. But Tuesday is very similar to Monday. It's a start at 9 a.m. I've organized my diary to make sure that my nearest, my first student is actually near one of the boys' schools. This means my first lesson again finishes at half ten and blah de blah we go on and we go on and go on and it's pretty much the same perhaps there's a bit more traffic so we're a bit later for one of the later students which I need to message to make sure that they are aware and then I need to make sure I've got an automated message for the next one and the next one because otherwise they're, they're just going to each be delayed and be wondering where I am. The only thing that pretty much changes on a Tuesday night for me is perhaps what I watch on TV which is 1,034 cars long. Yeah, you guessed it, Snowpiercer. Now, sometimes my week can change, but this is just to give you an idea of how you would get there if you wanted to get the 40,000 pound salary. Okay, so the beginning of a Wednesday is very similar to the Monday and Tuesday where I start at 9 a.m. I've gotta be quick off the mark to get to my first lesson. It's a little bit further away from the boys' school than I'd like. Finishes at half 10 as usual, blah, blah, blah. The main and big difference here is I finish work at half past two today. What do I do then? Well, it's mock test Wednesday, so I end up taking one of the students out for a mock test. It gives me 15 minutes to get there and 40 minutes around for the test. Then it's school time, pick up the kids from the school run. Yes, and it's home time. What happens next? Well, quick tea and then it's raid night. What's raid night? Well, I'm a bit sad, I don't like the football, so instead, on a Wednesday, I play World of Warcraft with another 25 people that are just as sad as I am, and we love it. There I am in the middle there. We have just killed the final boss, the Nathrius, and we are loving life right now. So it is now Thursday, and as you can see, the week starts as normal, 9 a.m. Now, I will be honest with you, I'm pretty tired by this time because I stayed up way too late with my very sad friends playing World of Warcraft. It's also later on in the week, and don't listen to anyone that tells you that driving isn't tiring because I tell you something, it is tiring. And the only thing more tiring is trying to help someone else learn to drive who can't yet drive. That gets you tired. So apart from that, it's very similar. We start at 9 a.m., we finish at half past two, but instead of mock tests, it is editing Thursday. We edit those mock tests, start getting that video ready to go out. Then it's school run, home. The only difference is on a Thursday is I'll probably do the cooking. What's for tea? Then we'll have a shower and probably watch some Sabrina. Sabrina Thursday. And finally, we've come to Friday, my favorite day of the week. Today we start work a little bit later at half past nine. The only reason for this is this, my first student is actually a bit further. It's, it's a half hour drive away. So it just gives me that extra time to get there. Apart from that, the day is completely the same. Also, that first lesson is actually only an hour because that's what the student requested. Finish work at half past two. School run, home, tea, tea, shower. It's time for some Alexa. Get Alexa Blair in the beats. Spend some time with the wife. Catch up. And hey presto. Now, if you can see this here in the corner, we've looked at the hours of the week that we've actually worked. And we've worked it up to a grand total of 28 hours. This means if I was to do this every week, 52 weeks of the year, I would get that grand total of £40,000 that we were originally looking at. This is obviously working full time and it's, it's choosing the hours that you want to work. I could obviously choose to work on a Saturday and Sunday, but I choose not to. I prefer to work on the Monday, Monday to Friday. Now, this is only an ideal world. This is never going to work every day of the week perfectly like clockwork. Sometimes on a Monday, for instance, a student might not finish college until 6 p.m. So I have to manage my day and actually work till seven or eight o'clock at night. But this does mean on one of the other days, I don't have to work at all or I can work half the day. 
But this is to give you an idea of how you can earn £40,000 as a driving instructor. Now, I haven't talked about any of the expenses that can be taken out of this at all, and I'm not going to today. That's going to be focused on another video. I also haven't talked about the other revenues of income that you can receive as a driving instructor, such as training other driving instructors. You can earn up to £40 per hour doing that, starting your own driving school, providing intensive driving courses to students, and generally educating other driving instructors. Now imagine if you chose to work from 8 a.m. in the morning till 6 p.m. at night, Monday to Friday, or even mo Monday to Sunday. I don't choose to that because I have a family and I like to spend time with them. But the possibilities are endless. If you've got any thoughts about this or you want to discuss it further, feel free to leave a comment below or join the Discord. I'll have a chat with you in there and it'd be great to see you. If you'd like to know anything else, get in touch, let me know. Always happy to help. If you like the video, like it. If you want to sub, sub. And I will see you soon.